वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू पी सी जियो किम्बर लाइट माई यूट्यूब चैनल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी अ इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम स्ट्रक्चरल जियोलॉजी विच विल बी देयर फ्रॉम एस वाई बी एस सी सिलेबस दैट इज द फोल्ड्स एंड इन दैट वी हैव बिन डिवाइडेड दिस फोल्ड चैप्टर इन टू फाइव पार्ट नाउ टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द फर्स्ट पार्ट दैट इज द इंट्रोडक्शन एंड parts of fold or terms associated with the folds so i am dr sajid undekar associate professor and head department of geology pune college arts arts science and commerce camp pune welcomes you on this channel yes we'll start this virtual lecture what is a fold a wavy undulation a wavy undulation or a wave like a form is called as a fold and these folds are generally shown by the sedimentary rock sedimentary rocks as well as a uh, metamorphic because once it is we gets into that particular part we are going to get in that but sedimentary rock we are going to see this particular uh, structure initially what is happening the sedimentary rocks are horizontal they are deposited one by the another so order of superposition is there and this particular force has been compressed yes the force which is acting together on that particular object that is a compression force tension force couple is there torsion is there so these are the various forces and these forces when it is act together then that is the tectonic branch so here structural geology is related with the tectonics also the internal and external forces the endogenous and exogenous forces will act on the but within this elastic limit what is happening whatever we have been compressed due to this a uh, wave like a feature you are going to see in the sedimentary rock now here in this particular diagram you can see the horizontal beds are there they have been compressed and due to the compression a uh, wave like a pattern has been formed a uh, undulation will be there and these undulations we called as a fold now what is in that fold is there the up upper part the highest part the upward arching yes this is the highest part is called as crust and the lowest part that is the tuff so we have the crust part and this is the basin so tuff part tuff and the crust these are the two one this is anticline and this cline this will be the syncline and from one anticline uh, one crust to the another crust if you measure the distance that is the wavelength and from the crust to the center if you measure the distance vertically here from this particular highest point to the the lowest point what we are going to have that is the middle part so that is the what we have the height of the fold so this is the uh, various parts will be there and uh, the imaginary plane which divides the uh, fold into two equal parts that is the axial plane so this will be there so we are going to have a simple definition it is a wave like a wavy or undulations you are going to see in the sedimentary rock due to the tectonic forces which are applied on this rock now these whatever the force folds we are going to have these folds right from the few millimeters to meters together and in uh, hundreds of uh, miles together we are going to get this fold structures very big structure also there so the whatever we have the causes are there that is a tangential gravitational force igneous intrusion these are there so that's why i told you endogenous and exogenous forces which are act together because if the magma is uh, coming from the uh, greater depth within the magma chamber with from the magma chamber whether the magma chamber may be may be present within the sial or saima or it is coming from the mantle then what is happening pressure temperature conditions are very high so whatever the country rocks are there if they withstand then it is well and good if they could not withstand then magma going to cut and the magma which is there it is slowly come out and it is erupted on the surface but if the rocks are withstand the pressure then what is happening the whatever the country rocks are slowly the dome like a feature is going to form so that will be a wave like a pattern will be formed that is anticline is going to form so here we have the endo endogenous and exogenous forces will act together and we are going to get a fold here again we have another shown the diagram horizontal beds 
have been compressed and due to this a uh, wave like a pattern undulation upward arching or downward arching will be going to seen the similar one here we have the simple bed now compress see how it will be changes are taken place and after this you can find out it is a crumpled so this is the way the folds are going to form now we'll see the very important one the parts or elements or terms associated with the fold this will be a comes as a long question define fold describe the various parts of a fold with a neat label diagram or describe the terms associated with the fold so that will be there normally if you see last 10 years 15 years question paper you will find out that alternately this will be asked in the examination for 10 marks or it will be asked for a 5 marks so definition is 100% is there of a fold and sometime there will be in a uh, uh, one marks there will be the different parts will be there if it is not coming for a long question then definitely whatever the parts are there they will be going to ask you in the write a short note so that will be there so here we are going to see one by one what are the various parts of the folds are there so here we have this is the what we have shown this is the upward arching and this is the downward arching so from crust to crust if you measure this is the what we have the length of the uh, wavelength and this is the height of the fold from this center point if you measure up to the highest point this is what we have the height that is the already we have been mentioned in the earlier uh, uh, part we have been seen now here we have the this is the part anti clean and this is the part we are called as the single upward arching and a downward arching so the first point which will be there that is the highest point the highest elevated point on the fold the highest point which is here now you can see the highest point will be here this highest point will be there that is called as the crust this is the crust part and the lowest pass which is, which is there where that we have the maximum depression is there the lowest point that will be called as the trough so crust and trough these are the first two different important uh, parts will be there the highest point and the uh, lowest point come to the next one this so here we are going to have axis the hinge line what is the hinge uh, axis the axis of the fold is the highest point which are there yes here we have shown specially marked all the highest point which are there on the crust yes highest point on the crust will be called as the axis the uh, fold of fold axis uh, it is a line joining the points of maximum curvature on the fold be, uh, folded bed so it is the highest point joining the highest point on the fold so that is the axis hinge or fold axis it is the intersection of the axial plane you can see now what is the next one axial plane this is the plane imaginary plane which divides the fold into two equal parts and it is passing from the center yes so here it is exactly passing through the center so this is an imaginary plane so on that actual plane you can see it is what we have the line which has been we have been highlighted this will be the what we have it is the uh, or axis or hinge and in this hinge is sometime it may be straight linear curvature or it will be a dump one so you are going to have so many features in that uh, thing which will be going to see in the uh, our next one the next point a point which is there in this is the actual plane it is an imaginary plane is yes, which pa which pass through the fold and it is bisect the fold and the limbs will be divided into two parts whether it is showing you the symmetrical or asymmetrical if the limbs are dipping with the same angle from the top if you make out here horizontal surface we have been drawn if you draw a horizontal surface here whatever the limbs which are dipping in the opposite direction from that particular horizontal plane makes an same angle then it is a symmetrical fold if the angle of these two limbs are different then it is a asymmetrical fold so axial plane now in this case we are shown as a vertical but it may be inclined or it may be horizontal so position of that particular one is going to change depend and that will be we have to find out how this planes will be there yes you can see now these are the three options which have been shown axial plane vertical axial plane is inclined and axial plane which will be there you can see make out in that 
the incline axis and axial plane that will be shown here you can see here it is the plane axial plane now it is makes angle so these are the plane whether vertical incline or horizontal next one limbs of a fold next part is a limb that is from the axial plane from this actual axial plane to this side left or to the right whatever the portion which is there the sides of the folds are there these sides of the folds are called as the limb of a fold yes it will be a limb so that will be there so that will be the limb arm anyone you can uh, make out in that so that is one by one we'll see that particular part yes now the next one is crust crustal line and crustal plane what is a crust crust is the highest point yes. the up 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 warm or upward arching is called as crust you can see now here we have the crust upward arching is there that is the crust and the line joining the maximum elevation points the line joining here we have the maximum points so here c c dash we are join a line or here we join the line e e dash these point which are going to join the highest points of the crust so this is the crustal line and a plane which divides a plane which pass through the crustal one it is a crustal plane yes it will be coinciding with your axial plane also when this particular one is a vertical and a symmetrical one at that moment the crustal plane and your axial plane is going to coincide so here we have the crust crustal line and crustal plane is next one the exactly the opposite one the trough line now what is the trough the depressed part now in this the whatever the downward arching it is the downward arch is there and whatever the point which are the lowest one where it is going to join now here we have the upward arching is here in this case yes i have shown and at this particular point if you join these two downward arching then it is the trough line and the imaginary plane which divides this one which is again coinciding with your axial plane that is the trough plane so here we have the crust crustal line crustal plane trough trough line trough plane so that will be become the more easiest one to have again here we have the axial plane that we have been drawn limb this is the limb which is there then crust line this is the crust line the crust on the another bed this is the crust on another bed which is there so crustal plane it is a imaginary plane so the diagrams which we have been going to show you that part so again here we have the cc c is the crust on the bed is yes? so that point c dash will be the highest point on the crust the crust on the bed which is cc dash this is the crust line the crustal plane will be there and the t will be the trough plane will be there is yes, this part trough a trough line and trough plane and this is the axial plane which already drawn together so these are the various parts of the fold so we have upward arching downward arching crust trough crust line crust crust line and crustal plane trough trough line trough plane axial plane lean so these are the various parts of the fold so this is a very small uh, we have a uh, uh, topic is there and this is a very important one because this is the important structure is there and whatever we are going to get the oil and natural gas most of them they have been trapped in the folds and the faults which are there so so this will be we have to study the structural this is a very very important one i hope you like the video if you like the video press the press the like button share my video in your uh, groups and subscribe my channel and without fail write down the comments and with that comments if you have your doubts write down i will be answer to these doubts thanks have a nice day